Andrew Caldwell, Mr. Delivered, was interviewed by Regine Carter. During the interview, Regine asked Andrew how he felt about Natalie Nunn's comments about him. Child, I don't know why she asked, because that set him off. Let's watch the clip. Do you have anything to say about Natalie Nunn comments about you? I do. So I wanted to say, um, when I left, she was one of the first people to reach out to me. Mm. The one of the first people to reach out. Hey, babe, this is Natalie. Come on, we're sorry. We want to take you to. Uh, we want to take you, uh, the boys, to um, to church. Number one, I don't play with God. Right. Okay. Number two, um, how we going to put our difference to the side because we have no beef. But the only thing I can do for her is get her face repaired. Oh. So you got the best doctor to do face. Because, you know, on the side of the face, it's like really crunkled up, chopped up. Oh. And uh, makeup won't do it. Matt won't do it. Well, damn. Okay. Where's the next repo? And let me ask you a question. Okay. You you know, some re you know repo means, right? Mm -hmm. Well, you might not know because you're rich. <laughs> the real rich. Thank you. Not, uh, and I, I'm glad that you're not the person that's coming to the hotel with cars and other things trying to go into somebody's trunk, find Louie and Ooey and Ooey, not Louie, but Ooey mm. and Chanel, not mm. Chanel. Chanel. So let her know when she's able to wear real designers, we can sit at this couch. Mm. Her designers are fake and she's fake as her skin can be. Now you know, of course, that Natalie is not going to sit back and let that go without a response. Natalie clapped back on her Instagram page with the following responses. And of course you know the bad boys are going to have Natalie's back in the comments section. What happened after all of that, you ask? Well, Mr. Delivered went on an Instagram live stream and went in again. Let's watch the stream and then come back with more commentary. This is too much. You are nobody. You have a low budget thing. You have nothing that has been, um, it's not by union. You have no union workers working for you. Grammy. You would never get an Oscar. You would never get anything for what you do. Trust and believe that. I got more pools than you think I do. And then, by the way, talking about um, you famous. <laughs> you famous from being stupid. You famous from getting on TV, um, them girls jumping you. Girl, bye. Girl, bye. Bye. And, and, and believe me, I will see you soon. <laughs> I will see you soon. Um, Y'all, it's stupid, y'all. It's stupid. She, she tell her go find her boosters that's out there. Go find her boosters that go and steals and goes and buy um, fake designers and give it to her. She's not rich at all. And if she claiming to be rich, don't make me pull receipts, baby. Don't make me pull receipts. Don't make me pull receipts. You are not, you would never get a Grammy. You would never get an Oscar. You would never get a real TV show. You would never be a real executive producer of Bravo, VH1, none of those. Understand that. Okay? Understand that. You would never, ever, boo-boo, moon pie face, not today. Because you was just inboxing me Hey, baby, it's Natalie. Andrew, please call me. I'm responsible for you. Baby, you're fine. Listen, we all have a whole episode You um for you. Let's take us all to the, all the boys to church. Call me. <laughs> me? Not going to happen. <laughs> Not going to happen at all. Okay? At all. And then, how I know your designer is fake because the stuff we had on was fake. The fur that you provided was fake. That was not my real fur. <laughs> my furs are real. Everything that y'all provided was fake. Bah, 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 bah. Give me receipts. Send me receipts. Send me receipts. Okay. I 
will be back on her tomorrow. I will be back on her this week. Because this person is a liar. This person is the devil. This person are not truthful. This person won't everybody think she's this when she's not. When the last time you got in the shade room? When the last time you got on the neighborhood talk, the ball up? They don't like you, okay? You are paying the blogs. That's sad when you got to pay the blogs to post you. That's sad you got to pay the, ball, the blogs to promote your, your stuff. Thank you. I don't have to do that. Anything I do will always get out there. Okay? Okay? And while all these celebrities out here laughing, you need me thanking the shade room. Because if it wasn't for the shade room, we wouldn't have no followings or no fans. Shout out to the shade room. We wouldn't be nobody. Believe me on that. So for every Oscar, whatever um, Grammy you got, it's because of the shade room. And y'all need to give the shade room their prime. If it wasn't for the shade room, we wouldn't have nothing. Nothing. No fans. It's sad. I hate lying. I used to be a liar, y'all. Okay? They can laugh at me, and I'm laughing at the bank. Hello? Tell me they laughing at you. They sure can't <laughs> laugh at me, baby, because you know I'm stupid and dumb. And I'm laughing right to the bank. All the way to the bank. Everybody tag the shade room, honey. Shout out to the, ta the shade room. Tag the shade room, honey. Let them know you love them. Go follow them. Go follow the ball alert. Go follow all of them. Talking about we made it. Uh, we did it on our own. Trick, girl, please. We didn't do none on our own. They helped us. And you ain't know. I'm, the, I'm not talking about you. I'm just talking about them other people. But I just want to say, you got a blue check mark because you paid for it. And you paid for your followings. I know that for a fact because I looked at all those people over there. I'm like, child, yeah, what is Reed Pimpy? I, and that's why I blocked her. I'm like, girl, I'm not going to follow you. You a scammer. Made me drop my dang on Jesus. I need to be on the diet. No, nah, it's sad. And chopped up face. Y'all just see it in person. I got it. I got it. So, uh -uh. I'm an executive. I'm an executive. I'm an executive producer. <laughs> I'm an executive. <laughs> I'm an executive. Somebody said you sound like a hater. Hater for what? She don't got nothing that I want. <laughs> I don't want no fake show. <laughs> Shall be. Shall be. <laughs> Um, hey, I don't want nothing over there. I don't want no kids. I don't want no husband that don't want me. I don't want to live in a rental house. I don't want no car that I gotta pay. Um, that have to put money down. I don't want fake designers. No, thank you. Okay, I don't want none of that. I don't want none of that. Okay. Set y'all notifications, because when I come live next time, I'm coming down with receipts, honey. Receipts. On everything. I'm going to keep being me. And ain't nobody shutting me up for telling no truth. Because when you got receipts, they can't shut you up. I 
I so do live in an apartment because I don't want to go. I don't want to be like you. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know why this disagreement is still going on. Mr. Delivered has decided to not participate in season one of Bad Boys Club LA, and the show is continuing on. At the end of the day, all is well. A lot of Bad Boys Club LA fans are hoping that Mr. Delivered will show up to the reunion at the end of the season. Thank you for watching, remember to click on the notifications bell to be notified every time we drop a new video. See you in the next one, and if you want to watch Bad Boys Club LA, you can find it on the Zeus Network. Till next time.